Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Gabriella. I make videos about fragrance, astrology, self-care, mental health, actor life. I do vlogs. Uh, I have a little dog named Mochi. And yeah, whatever else I feel like talking about. So if that sounds like your jam, please stick around and subscribe. Yes, why are you so cute? Why are you my little baby? Ah. So, uh, it was right at the beginning of lockdown, I believe, when I did my last video sitting on my living room floor. And if you know what this position means, well then good for you. If you don't, it means we have a haul. Oh my goodness gracious, these are my favorite videos to film. Not because, not just hauls, but first impressions, blind buy videos where I get to try new fragrances on camera. It's like surprise and Christmas and maybe discovering new favorite things all in one. It's just the best. I literally got this package five minutes ago and we're gonna open it together and see what I picked out. So this package comes from perfumeonline.ca who is the kind sponsor of today's video. They have designer and niche perfumes at an affordable price. They're actually a Canadian company but they shipped super fast. It arrived I would say four business days maybe. I got five perfumes and I believe these are all blind buys except one. Um, and they all kind of have a special story. So let's dive in. It came in this really cute holiday box, which put me in the holiday mood. All right, well, I'm gonna start with one that, the only one that is not a complete blind buy. So this is Lalique Rêve d'Infini Eau de Parfum. If you guys are not new to my channel, you know that I got a sample of this. I think a friend back when I was doing theater, she gave me just a bag of perfume samples that she didn't want. And Rêve d'Infini was one of them and I initially smelled it and was like, eh, whatever. And then I sprayed it on myself once just for fun. And what it smells like on me is, <sighs> I'm just obsessed. I haven't actually seen the bottle. I only had a little tester. So, already so beautiful. And if I'm not mistaken, Lalique actually makes crystal. Is that correct? I think that's kind of where they started. Like, I wanna say it's crystal. Okay. All right, so it's this sort of ombre frosted glass with rose gold or copper colored metal. All right, this fragrance is so special to me. This, ooh, that's a nice strong cap. Oh, this is sparkly. This is sparkly, sparkling fruit. It's the sensation of eating a nectarine, okay? I don't think there's a note of nectarine in here, but to me, no, this is a Kier Royale. That, that peach champagne, if any of you have ever had a Kier Royale to drink, that's what this is. And my first Kier Royale, I actually drank in Paris, so it's very appropriate that this is a French brand. But let me look up the notes really quick because I'm not being very descriptive but it really smells amazing. And I kind of wanted to get only fall-ish fragrances, fall, winter, but I've just wanted that one for a really, really long time now. And I think in the spring and summer, it smells clean and fresh. And if you wear it in the fall and winter, it's just like freshly fallen snow. If it were a goddess, that's what she would smell like, the snow goddess. It's just so good. So this was launched in early 2016 as a tribute to femininity and elegance. Oh yeah, Rene Lalique was a glass and jewelry designer. Okay. Oh my gosh, so I'm not crazy. Okay, so notes we have bergamot, lychee, white roses, jasmine, rose, fruity nectar and freesia, peach and cedar, and then vanilla, musk, and sandalwood. So there's no wonder that I love it because even on the dry down, the base vanilla, musk, and sandalwood, I mean anything with vanilla, sandalwood, I'm gonna like. But peach, yes! So this is a, a, a Cure Royale to me. This is really cheery and happy. This is a happy, positive fragrance. This is not um, a come hither fragrance. This is not like moody or mysterious in any way. This is just happy, elegant, grown woman, you know, who just the laugh of a grown woman. That's what that, sm that's what that smells like. Just a liberated, happy person. Kier Royale champagne. It kind of reminds me of 
the tinkling of glass that sound if it had a smell it's just so good i haven't really worn it around many people obviously so i'm curious as to what people think that it smells like on me but it's just beautiful it's very very clean sparkly feminine happy happy lovely fragrance so very happy i finally have Grève d'Anfini in my arsenal all right next this is a very special fragrance. I'm pretty sure it's discontinued, but my sister, Megan, used to wear this for years straight. And it was before I was even into perfume. Maybe I was like eight or nine. My mom would buy this for her like every Christmas. We would go and try to find it. And I remember the bottle and I remember thinking it was beautiful. And I can't remember how it smells at all, but my sister always smells really good. I think that's just her naturally though. Like all of her apartments and everything always smelled really good but maybe this smells like vintage Megan Hartley. So we'll see. This is Anna Sui, Sui Dreams. Uh, this is a eau de toilette. And I am really excited because I just remember her having this. I really hope that this smells good. The bottle is cool. I really am into this. I like the juice. Like, look at this. I think that's so cool. Oh my God, I'm nervous. This is literally what she used to wear. Wow. Okay, oh, oh, do I, oh, this doesn't come off. Okay, that's cool, all right. Here we go, <laughs> Blast from the past, maybe. Oh my God, <laughs> wow. Dude, that's it. That's exactly what her room used to smell like. Oh my gosh, this is good, you guys. I hope this lasts because this is good. This is vanilla. Not that it smells like a baby doll head. Um, one of the perfumes in here, that's the reason I ordered it. I love that smell of like cabbage patch, that plasticky vanilla. This kind of has that. Another fragrance that this reminds me of, this is like the more feminine version of a fragrance I had by Jack Wills. And let me find out what it was called. Okay, English Velvet was a fragrance that I used to have by Jack Wills. Let me see the notes of this. This was launched in 2000. Wow. Okay. So we have... This is an Oriental Vanilla fragrance for women. We have Nectarine, Mandarin Orange, Bergamot, and Bitter Orange. Oh, so this kind of reminds me of uh, Blue Curacao. Isn't that an orange liqueur technically? Freesia, peach, Chinese peony, and rose, and at the base, nutmeg, sandalwood, musk, Tahitian vanilla, cedar, and anise, anise. I never know how to actually say that, but I know it's like that licorice-y licorice root. Um, wow, so that's a lot of orange on top. I don't, I guess I can sort of smell the orange when I put my nose up to it, but really it's just a lovely, sweet, warm, non-offensive vanilla fragrance. I hope this lasts a while, I don't know, but take a look. So cute, I love this bottle. This is one of the reasons I love fragrances because you can get things that take you back and people have special stories or memories associated with fragrances, so I'm really happy to have Sweet Dreams in my collection. It's a tribute to my sister. Now, let's go, oh, so this is one that I read in some forums online. It smells like baby doll, plastic, cabbage patch vibes. This is Nude by Bill Blass. I think you can tell by the packaging, it's retro. Okay, so Bill Blass is a, a fashion designer. I didn't even know who that was. Maybe that's a huge embarrassment, but anyway. I wanted to try this. It was super, super inexpensive. I want to say it was like 16 bucks. So I went ahead and added that to my order because why not? And either way, the bottle is really cool and like retro looking. Super like giving me 90s vibes. Let's try this one out, Nude by Bill Blass. And this is a uh, eau de, this is a cologne. Cologne natural spray, okay. I'm, ex I'm expecting very retro. Okay, off first sniff, super vintage. Super vintage. Ah, okay, so this is definitely dated, but I bet on the skin this is incredible. 
A couple people describe this as a skin scent. Oh, there is a YouTuber that I love and I cannot remember her name. I'm subscribed to her and everything. I watch her videos all the time. She likes this fragrance and says that it's kind of a skin scent. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be really nice. Um, how do I describe this? Now I'm getting that plasticky smell and I like it. It's kind of boozy, which I guess is not the right word to say it, but it reminds me of like, these older fragrances remind me sort of of, of liquor or smelling wine. Cause they're just more cutting. They just have that trademark retro smell but this is already turning into like a skin scent. And if I can imagine smelling this on somebody, this is great. It smells like they've used a really nice bar soap and they're, they just smell delicious. Or I guess delicious is not the right word. Clean and lovely and nude. It definitely smells like a 90s supermodel naked moment. I'm happy with this. This was not expensive at all. And I feel like smelling that it's gonna last for a long time. I could be wrong, but happy to have Bill Blast nude in my collection now. The next two are from my favorite perfume house probably ever, which is Guerlain, and I am very excited. So this beautiful fierce black packaging is Black Perfecto by La Petite Robe Noire, Eau de Parfum Floral. Je mets la rose dans tous ses états. Wow, okay. I'm incredibly sexy and more rock than ever. Dressed in an all leather style, I bring out every side of Rose. Let my decidedly black style stir your senses. Okay, so get ready for this bottle. This is, I saw this bottle on the website and I was like, I'm ordering that. It's Guerlain, it's a sexy bottle. Even if I don't like it, I mean, first of all, this matte black packaging, like, ooh, it's dangerous, honey. Woo! And I think this was discontinued. I wanna say it came out in 2015 or 2017 or something, and then they discontinued it. Oh my gosh. Oh! This is just gorgeous. This is apparently a black cherry and leathery fragrance. I'm not gonna read the notes right now, I'll read them after I smell it, but either way, like this, I'm sorry, this bottle is stunning. Stunting. Hmm. That has a little bit of a retro touch too. Like that alcoholic. Okay, definitely cherry. If you don't like cherry, rich black cherry, you're not gonna like this. This reminds me of something I maybe had as a kid, honestly. Maybe a bubble bath or a, a body spray. Was there a... I don't want to like be a blasphemer or blasphemer right now, but was there like a black cherry or, or blackberry body wash by Bath and Body Works? Leather. I'm, I'm curious to see how this develops on my skin because right now it's very juicy, dark, ripe black cherry. I suppose I can smell a little leather, but it's not like, this is not still not masculine. So let me read you the notes really quick. I think that's an amazing way to wear a juicy fruit fragrance in the fall and winter. I think that's awesome. Oh, it came out in spring of 2017. Okay, this is a theme, uh, this is a darker and edgier version of the original, which I'm assuming the original is La Petite Robe Noire. Uh, We've got rose, leather, licorice, and almond. The inspiration for the perfume is the contrast of style between a biker leather jacket and an elegant black evening dress. That's one of the reasons why I ordered this is because that's totally my style, is like a silky dress and then a leather jacket. So it's not medicinal cherry, but I this is one that I'm really gonna have to see how it plays on my skin and I'm very excited. Um, it smells sticky, sweet, dangerous, sexy, uh, and yeah, this is kind of, I need to smell this on me because it's kind of throwing me for a loop. I don't know how I feel about it at all, but I need to smell it on me. But that's Black Perfecto by Guerlain. And then my last one is a little bit controversial because this is in, this is a bee bottle uh, perfume from Guerlain. So this is a perfume that is not new, um, but they repackaged it in their new bee bottle. And I've seen a lot of people online get pissed about this. They're not a fan. They think that the, even though Guerlain says it hasn't changed, they think the formula has changed. 
I could not find an original of this on the website. I like the bee bottles also, just the look of them. Um, but I got Samsara Eau de Parfum. And red, as you guys know, is my power color. So I'm really, this already intrigued me. It seems like it, it is inspired by places far away from here, like India and the Middle East. And uh, samsara is a Sanskrit word, I believe, meaning, is it rebirth? Something like that. So here we go, samsara. So there is one perfume content creator that I watch on YouTube and his favorite perfume of all time is samsara, but he was really disappointed by this bee bottle. But I'm still going into it with high hopes. But I know, I feel like this is gonna be really unique and probably not smell modern, and I'm okay with that. I'm ready, because you know what? When I first smelled Asselnance, I was like, ugh, no, it smells old fashioned. And then I let it grow on me and it is like my favorite fragrance of all time. So here we go. Ooh, I'm excited, I have such high hopes. Oh my gosh. I love smelling new perfume. Like my whole mind is about to expand. With every perfume I smell, it's like your world will never be the same knowing that you have smelled. Honey. Honey! <gasps> Speaking... <coughs> that had nothing to... <coughs> I don't know what just happened there. That had nothing to do with the perfume. <laughs> Honey! Speaking of my life never being the same. Mochi, smell this. Come on and smell it. What do you think of it? Oh my gosh, you guys. So first off, this is more powdery-ish than I expected it to be. For some reason, reading Samsara, I expected it to be very, very spicy and almost oody, but I don't know if Guerlain really makes a lot of oody, deep fragrances like that. They all are more powdery. So weirdly enough, I can tell if I just smell this, that this is related, this is in the family of Ancelance, which in the family I just mean by the same perfume house, but yeah, it's got that same clean, powdery vibe. But let's read the notes. I'm here for this. I am loving that. Wow. And now that I'm smelling it, I feel like I could wear that all year round. All year round, no problem. So Guerlain classifies this as a woody oriental, harmonious, spellbinding, and embracing. Oh my gosh. It says Samsara is the first woody women's fragrance in perfumery. It is constructed over a beautifully crafted sandalwood used for the first time in these quantities in perfumery. Wow, so it's kind of a kind of an icon, casual. Jasmine flower, ylang ylang, sandalwood, iris, tonka bean, vanilla. I mean, if that doesn't just sound perfect, for me at least. Okay, so you know how I say Ancelance smells like little fairies in the forest gave you a bath and scrub you down with purple fairy soap? This is like beautiful gin, you know that, it's like sort of like a genie, I feel like gin are actually evil, but those Middle Eastern, I'm envisioning a beautiful mystical creature, but it just looks like a human, but it's like very beautiful, and there's there was some world in uh, some area of Game of Thrones, it might be where Daenerys is originally from, I don't know, it was giving me sort of like it was giving me like Phoenician, Greek, a little bit of like Byzantine vibes. So basically I feel like this just smells like you've come out of a glorious, beautiful bath in, in the Far East somewhere. I cannot wait to wear this. Oh my goodness. I'm curious to smell the original, but I'm so pleased with this. Wow, wow, wowzers. Ooh, I feel like me with my newly dyed black hair, like this is me right now. Like red with the power color, black hair, ready to take on the world, but taking good care of myself, having good hygiene, keeping my spirits lifted, feeling a little warm and cozy, fall and winter as things start to cool down. This is just, ooh, I cannot wait to wear this. Mm. Wow. All right, so it was a five out of five. There's nothing that I'm unhappy with in this haul. Thanks again to perfumeonline.ca for sponsoring this video and letting me pick out these fragrances. 
and having such fast shipping. Uh, the representative from perfumeonline.ca that I was talking with says, yes, we are a Canadian company, but we do ship to the US and usually the products reach within seven working days, definitely happened, and customers don't pay any duties or taxes. So perfumeonline.ca, I'm gonna leave everything below. They've got discontinued fragrances, niche fragrances. It was so much fun just looking through their website. They have a massive amount of fragrances. So check them out. Thank you again for sponsoring. And what am I gonna spray on myself? I'm kind of, I'm kind of curious about Black Perfecto. So I think I'm gonna wear that for the rest of today. Let's see. Mm. Oh, this one's quite powdery too. Very good. Oh, I think we're gonna like this one. Anyway, if you want updates on any of these fragrances, please let me know. Oh yeah, I'm happy. <sighs> anyway, let me know if you guys like this type of video because I love doing them. And let me know if you've tried any of these fragrances and what you think about them. All right, I will talk to you in my next video. Mwah! Bye guys.